Hey everybody, so today I wanted to try foiling. I have never tried it before and I've seen some videos and I picked up some of the Heidi Swap mink foil. But I don't have a mink machine. All I have is my scotch laminator printer that, or laminator that was like $20. So I wanted to see if I could do it and use the mink foil without the mink machine. And I have seen some videos and I wanted to try it out myself. I have an inkjet printer so what I did was just print out some phrases on my inkjet and then I went to work and photocopied it on the copy machine because they always talk about having laser printers but they never really say copy machines and I said well common sense means they should work on a copy machine so I'm going to try it out and this is actually just regular paper I didn't even do it like on cardstock because I forgot to bring the cardstock to work and I'm just going to put it I think I might put it like on a base with some cardstock let me see if I can find like a piece of cardstock um, behind it just to make sure it goes through the laminator and um, I'm gonna wrap it in a deli sheet. I know Jennifer McGuire, I think her video she just kind of put it through and did not wrap it um, in a carrier sheet and it was fine with her laminator but to be safe I'm just gonna put mine through and let's just kind of see how it comes out and I'm sorry if it's there's a glare. It is kind of an overcast day, but the sun kind of peeps in and out. So, all right. so that came through. Uh, I don't know if I can do it twice. Let's just do it twice. Safe than sorry. Just because, like I said, there is a carrier sheet. I do have it on the five setting. And, and um, the only bad thing is the, this, um, like I said, the, the foil comes in these rolls and there's a ton on it. But I think a lot of the stores, like Joanne Clarence stares out, and I don't know if Michael's is still selling it. I know they had some of their mink stuff, but it seems like Joanne Clarence did out pretty much after they got it. And I don't know if it's because it's not selling or she's redoing the line, but let's see. Oh, that really came out nice, and I don't hope that you can kind of see it without, like, too much of a glare. But, yeah, that came out nice. And this is not even cardstock. This is just regular copy machine paper because I have forgotten my cardstock. So I hope it comes out that you can actually see how nice that really worked well. The other thing I wanted to try, because I did see a video, and I had bought this um, embossing powder, thinking it was embossing powder, and it's sticky embossing powder by Ranger. And then I saw a video that Tim Holtz did, and he said, oh, this isn't for embossing so much as it's for a glue. Um, so I'm going to see, like it was, you know, it's it's basically a glue. So let's try that. Like let's stamp something with the Versamark and see if that works either with the laminator or without the laminator. Because what I was gathering is that you didn't even need the laminator that you could just get the foil. And he was, I think, using the Ranger foil. Well, I don't know if there's a difference between foils or if foil is foil. So why don't I do that on there and um, let me find a piece of random cardstock and I will stamp that down. Okay. Um, throw some of this sticky embossing powder on top of it. And I didn't de-static it first because I forgot and I don't even have one of those tools because I haven't found one in the store. I don't know if you gotta get those online too, those de-staticing brushes that you see everybody using. Um, what I usually use is dryer sheets because I do a lot of laundry. I do laundry like every day. I have 15 year old twin boys and they change a lot. So I'm always, I got dryer sheets all over the place. And that's what I usually use. But for some reason, I didn't use one right now. So I'm just gonna kind of put that off. Try to get some of the excess off. And let's try a little piece of the green. Um, a little piece off. Boss it or heat. I use my heat tool and let's see. Let me just sorry for the noise this time. I just want to kind of heat this up for a second so I can do it quick. And this is a Martha Stewart heat tool. It works pretty good. Um, Done. Let's put the foil over it. And this is cardstock. Let's put our 
carrier sheet over it. And let me see. Put that on there. Now, when Tim did it, he didn't use the laminator. He just kind of rubbed it. So we could do that first. He said you just rub it with your fingers and you don't even need the laminator. Um, that it would just come right off. So let's see how that, we'll do both. We'll do it without. And let me see, can I like burnish it? Let me just use this. I'll just kind of burnish it with this. Let's see if that worked. No, not really. Okay. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to stamp it again. And then we're going to put it through the laminator how that worked. Now I could have done it wrong. Maybe it was a better technique and I'm missing a step. But I don't know when he did it. He just did a rub. Uh, let's see. Put the sticky washing powder on again. Oh. Going to Heat tool it again. Like I said, I'm sure the other method works. I probably didn't do something really right. Maybe I didn't put enough on or was it hot enough. He was using the range foil. I can't imagine that the foil makes a difference though. Let's see. Let's see how this works. And since it had the embossing powder, I think I'm just gonna let it go through the one time. I'm not gonna put it through the second time. Okay. So that is with the embossing powder, and I just stuck to, and it's okay. I'm not, I don't know, I kind of like, the, I think the toner, um, the toner works better. In my opinion, take a picture if you don't have an inkjet, or if you have an inkjet, See if you can get somebody to photocopy for you. I mean, you can always go to a library or Staples and get any kind of a photocopy need. But yeah, I think um, really nice. Not so much with the embossing powder, but really nice with the actual photocopy paper. All right, well, that was great. And I think I'm going to get myself some more of the Hottie Swap Mink before it is gone out of the stores. And thanks for watching. Bye.